J-Drone here. So you got the bugs. Chances are it's not this blue one unless you got it off of Amazon. Chances are you got the black one and it comes with uh, standard camera setup like that. Which, let's see if we get that off for you. Um, I don't think I have a clipped in. I might have a clipped in. Yeah. This right here, that's how you clip it in. That way you keep it secure. Just spin that out. And then you should be able to just slide that forward like that. So, as we drop it, that's the camera setup on it. There's no bushings or anything on it. Um, so, you want to upgrade it. Well, you could upgrade it to something with uh, bushings on it and dampering devices. Or you can go with a gimbal. People keep asking me how I put a wall carrier gimbal on mine. I'm going to show you. Alright, so there's stock setup. And there is non-stock setup. As you can see, the legs are different. We got higher and wider legs to compensate. Um, camera mounts are different. We have a wall camera on this one. We're going to go over this one and show you how I have it set. Alright, so super simple setup. We have the camera that attaches to the wall camera uh, gimbal, which is, as you can see there, all on this bracket. I have a piece which is that piece which I'll show you that just slides right into the drone. I'm going to take this Velcro off and uh, show you what it looks like without the Velcro. For power, you have this wire coming out, which I have here. I have it connected to one of those. If you have a 2S or a 3S battery that connects right to that, you don't have to have an adapter. I have an adapter because I'm running a 2S with that connection, which works fine. Um, it's a 500 mAh, uh, 7.4 volt battery. And all I do, I run this up, I connect this, and the gimbal's working. So let's get this Velcro off and show you what I got going on. Okay, guys, camera's tilted just because it's not in action, but uh, as you can see here, that that's what I got going on. You got the Velcro out of the way that literally just connects onto the body. And uh, let's sit that down. That way you can get a better profile of it. I don't need the Velcro. I have the Velcro on for safety measures. And also because I have my battery removable. Because I'm using Velcro. It sticks that. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can slide this off with one hand here. And we are just going to get on the back of this. Bam. That's it. That's it. I didn't have to unscrew anything or nothing. This slides right into, let's put that there. That slides right into there. There's no modification to the body, minus the legs, of course, because, uh, again, I've added that to the Walkera uh, mount setup, and it just slides right on. Super simple. Okay, guys, I have a lot of people asking me how I wired it. It's simple. You have your plug that comes with the wall car that comes out. Then we have it connected to an adapter and the wire, as you can see, which we're going to put up front here just to show you. And then, uh, quite simply, we're just going to connect this. That's it. Bam. And uh, give it a second. You see the red light gone. Your gimbal moves, and it is now fully functional. That's all. It's to it, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, post down below. If you're not on Drone Days, check it out. It's on Facebook. All right, guys. Have a good day. Hope this helped.